Hello. 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 Zion, we had a chance to talk to you in the preseason before you were under the Jordan umbrella and the Jordan brand and, and made that decision to come back in this building and, and that statue outside. Does this does it mean anything different or is it, is it so far in the past of Michael Jordan that's more legend than actual things you put your hands on? Nah, he's, he's been my favorite player uh, when I've been growing up. Um, you know, you got to respect the building. You got to respect what he's done for the game, obviously. Uh, but I'm not really focused on that, focusing on trying to get the win. Zion, you've always been a focal point of attention for a long time because of your skills. Is this a pain in the butt to you, or do you enjoy it? Uh, I enjoy it. I find it, <laughs> I find it very funny. How's the, uh, how's the toe feeling? Is it something that just popped up after the last game? Um, no, I just had like a tiny bit of discomfort in it. Uh, nothing major. I'm fine. This Zion, you're getting a bigger sample size with this teammate in this lineup. What are you learning about what – what you guys can do together? Um, I'm learning we can do a lot of great things together. Um, we have a really bright future. Um, I think we're just learning game by game because uh, I'm seven games in. They're like 50 or so. Um, and, you know, you learn new tendencies by each player as the, uh, as the more and more you play with them. You I sure that you guys in the don't look at this thing as a, as a rebuild. How do you guys look at it when you talk about what you guys are and what you become? Uh, what's the what's, – how do you guys discuss that? Um – we discuss it as we're a great team. Um, so we need to start carrying ourselves as such. And, um, you know, we need to eliminate those small things that we do in the game that kind of cause ourselves the game. Because uh, great teams don't do that. You huh? showed out in the preseason game pretty nicely before you ended up missing some time. What did you think of just playing as much as you did in that preseason game here and how comfortable you really looked out there for most of that game? You got better as it went on. Um, it was just one of those things where, you know, I was feeling it that game. My teammates were finding me, and, I mean, it was just a, a adjusted from college to the NBA. And, um, I think the preseason was a big help for that. What has been the biggest adjustment for you? Biggest adjustment playing the league? Uh, nothing really on court, to be honest. Uh, I think, for me, it's more off court, you know, with my teammates, going from college teammates to, you know, like Derek Favors and J.J., like two, four and two kids. Uh, and the resp- uh, different level of responsibilities that they have. So that's been like my biggest adjustment. So, so coming back to. Out of this media circus. I mean, coaches, when you arrive at a hotel in three in the morning, there, everybody, when you go to stadiums, wants to see you. You're known by one name. Like, well, you said it's funny. What, what surprises you about this? What, what makes it funny to you, all this attention? Um, you know, it's not always funny. Uh, I just make it fun. Because, um, you know, if I hate it, then it's not going to be any fun. <laughs> but. Uh, it does surprise me. Um, you know, I always try to figure out like why so many people care about me. Like, I'm just a regular guy. Um, but nah, whatever I do, I just try to have fun with it. Um, you know, it goes by fast, and I enjoy it. The coach said that he doesn't need to take any measures to keep you grounded because your mom and dad do a good enough a job of that. What do they do to help kind of keep you grounded and humble? It seems to come pretty natural to you. Um, it's one of those things where. You know, while people might say, oh, you know, you had a great game, this, that. Uh, you know, when I get home, I know I'm here the opposite. Um, <laughs> so, you know, going through that for a lot of years. Um, and at first, I thought, man, she's being, my mom's being real tough on me. But as, as I got older, I realized um, she was doing it for, you know, to keep my mindset humble and just stay grounded. So, so like, when you... Too, I, I spoke to you about the motivation to speak to Eric Thomas, you know, throughout your injury. Did you have a chance to catch up with him at all or talk to him while I was about to No, I didn't have a chance to catch up with him, but um, you know, he's incredible what, he's, uh, what he does. Um, you know, he came and spoke with, uh, to us at the rookie orientation. Uh, you know, he has some great things to say that I can't really share, but, I mean, you learn a lot from, like, one person in 15, 20 minutes. You'll be back here next week, right? Well, uh, is, it, is it here? Uh, <laughs> what do you what do you, what what do you what do you kind of what are you looking forward to about that? I mean, just meeting all the other young players and just having fun. I and mean, that's what All Star Weekend's about. Just come out here, have fun, and just enjoy the time. Is well, your first time going through uh, anything like a trade deadline? Uh, so I guess what's it been like just seeing the way Drew, some of the other guys, have been handling all that speculation? Um, you know, they uh, it's not like Drew. You know, he's been in the league a long time, so you know he knows what it is. So, you know, they handle it very well. They don't really let it bother them. Um, and, you know, for my first one, seeing, like, some of these trades happen, um, you know, that's it gives you, like, a sense of reality of the situation that you know that at any moment before this deadline, 
um, me or one of my teammates could not be with the Pelicans anymore. So it gives you that sense of reality. Zion, you're an amazing talent. Does it amaze you going against some of the other guys around the league? You went against Giannis the other night. I mean, how talented some of these guys really are. Um, no, it doesn't surprise me uh, with how talented they are because, I mean, they built their reputation to you know, be who they are. And, I mean, this is the NBA. The best players in the world play here. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting better and better and just competing. You said the uh, on court adjustments haven't been anything crazy for you. You've been running a lot of small lineups with the five. What's your comfort level been in those? And, and what do you bring that's able to let you guys? Um, it was a little adjustment, but I did a little bit at Duke. And uh, the comfort level with that is, I mean, it's basketball. Uh, you just try to make the basketball play and the win and play. Um, and I'm able to use my speed and like strength to get by the bigs off the perimeter or, you know, post up and face them up. Um, so with that, it's just trying to find a mismatch within the group. Do you think that would be with the five and the B.I. at the four that unlocks something with the pairing between you two kind of in the future? Um, I think with just both of us on the court unlocks something. Um, and I think as long as we both go out there, you know, be who we are while, like, playing in the flow of the game, I think we'll both be all right. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks man. I appreciate it.